What is up, everybody? It's the Monday after the Super Bowl. So, what we're going to do, react to the game, obviously. We're going to talk about that Deadpool 3 trailer as well towards the end of this video, if we have time for that. I'm going to try and hit on a little bit of stuff that I liked in that trailer. Obviously, you saw our reaction to it last night, but that was just immediate thoughts and reactions. So, this video, we're going to hopefully have part of a breakdown and then tomorrow, you'll be getting interviews with Cole McConathy. We're going to push that back to tomorrow since we don't have anything going on tomorrow. Anyway, of course, like I said, it is the Super Bowl. Obviously, last night, it was a phenomenal game. Mahomes stepped up when he needed to. And that is what obviously allowed the Chiefs to win. And we're going to talk about that. But first, if you guys are new to the channel, of course, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post on this channel every single day, sometimes even weekends like you saw yesterday as well with the Deadpool 3 trailer. So, with that being said, it's the Monday before the All-Star break. Obviously, there's some NBA. I think Wednesday, we're going to talk about, or we're going to have our interview with Noah, but we're also going to talk about the NBA All-Star game. We may do that Thursday or Friday as well. We're going to fit that in sometime this week and give a breakdown of the NBA All-Star game. So, if you guys are into that type of content, you already know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe, so you guys don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Let's go ahead, hop into some Super Bowl reactions and a Deadpool 3 trailer breakdown. All right, so obviously the game did go into overtime. It was really one of the only games this year that I've watched start to finish from an NFL football game, obviously. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box score, obviously. Brock Purdy was 23 of 30, 38 for 255 yards, one touchdown, and zero interception. Brock Purdy played really well, and I think the Chiefs really should have, or the 49ers should have won this game by a long slide. I think the only thing that kept the Chiefs in this game was their defense. And, of course, there were a couple of controversial calls towards the end of the game. But that always happens with the NFL. It's happened for the past two years in the Super Bowl, obviously. So, that's been happening as well. Obviously, Jennings threw a pass. If you guys do not know, he that trick play that Kyle Shanahan had, it was great, great play to McCaffrey. Speaking of the rushing for the San Francisco 49ers, obviously, Christian McCaffrey had 22 carries for 80 yards. And then zero rushing touchdowns on the day. But Brock Purdy had 12 yards and th on three carries as well. He was getting it done with his legs for the most part. I believe he got three first downs as well for with his legs. So kudos to Brock Purdy on going or on obviously stepping up during this game. Debo Samuel got in there a little bit rushing. I still don't know why they use him as a running back, but Christian McCaffrey led the team in receiving as well with eight receptions for 80 yards and one touchdown with an average of 10 carries or 10 yards per carry as well. So Christian McCaffrey getting it done on the ground. Brandon Ayuk also had 49 yards for three receptions. Jawan Jennings had a touchdown, but he was four receptions for 30 or 33 yards, I believe, or 42 yards rather. Debo Samuel had three receptions for 32 yards. He kind of got everybody involved, but then again, the only player that they really got involved with was Christian McCaffrey. Uh, George Kittle had four receptions. I believe he had one catch throughout the entire game before he went out and got hurt, obviously, and then he came back into the game. But taking a look at the defensive side of things, they really only pressured Mahomes about two times during this game, and then J.R. Brown caught the interception as well. They didn't have a lot of tackles, though, but they only got to the quarterback two times during this game, uh, pressure-wise, and then, of course, the one interception on defense as well. The Chiefs did fumble the ball. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. But, of course, we got to talk about the kicking because, again, I think that if Jake Moody would have made that extra point that he missed, the 49ers would have been closer. Again, it was a three-point game, so it really didn't matter. But the 49ers would have been a lot closer than what they did. Obviously, he was 3-for-3 three three from field goals with the 55-yarder. Obviously, the second longest in Super Bowl history. Harrison Bunker passing him up on that. But... Obviously, Jake Moody was 10 points as well. So, overall, the San Francisco 49ers deserve to win that game, and I'm very disappointed in them that they could not close it out defensively. I believe that was the struggle. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Kansas City Chiefs side of things. 
Moving on to the Kansas City Chiefs side of things, like I said earlier, Patrick Mahomes really played a really good game passing-wise. He was 34 of 46 for 333 yards, two touchdowns, one interception as well towards the end of the game. That's when things kind of got out of hand for them, but they ended up battling back and came into overtime and wiped them out clean. But he led the team in rushing with 66 yards. P Pacheco, obviously, 18 carries for 60 yards. Not not a bad day for him as, as well. Travis Kelsey led the team in receiving, of course, the amount of times they showed Taylor Swift on that screen was crazy. I believe we counted 20 times at least. There could have been more, but at least all we did was count 20 times. Travis Kelsey obviously led the team in receiving. But Cole Hardman, no. three receptions for 57 yards, one touchdown. Stepped up when he needed to. If you guys did not see the post-game interview with him, he didn't even know he caught the game-winning touchdown as well. He's really one of their... One of their worst receivers on this roster, but of course he caught the game-winning touchdown. That is all that matters in my opinion as well. Jawan Johnson obviously came in, or Justin Watson came in. There are three receptions for 54 yards. Rasheed Rice, the rookie, played really, really well. Six receptions for 39 yards on the day as well. And then MVS had one touchdown too. So MVS obviously stepped up when he needed to. He did kind of struggle though throughout the majority of the game. But when he needed, he was there to step up for Patrick Mahomes. Taking a look at the defensive side of things. They only got to the quarterback about half a sack. They didn't even get a full sack on Brock Purdy. They didn't have an interception, but they did have that forced fumble earlier in the game, which I think, honestly, if the 49ers would have scored on that drive, they would have won this game by far. And obviously, I know they turned the ball over again, but uh, they probably would have won this game if they hadn't have turned the ball over. Now, taking a look at kicking, Harrison Bunker was 4 for 4. His longest was 57 yarders. He obviously set the record at the Super Bowl for longest kick in NFL history with a 57 yarder, and he had 13 points on the day as well. So, Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl champions, back to back to back. They're getting the dynasty going. I think that they are far from being stopped. They just need a really, really good receiver, and maybe they'll go out and get one in free agency as the offseason ramps up. But what the Chiefs need is a really solid receiver that they can count on, they can lean on when they need it to. So I think they'll go out and get one of those guys as well. But overall, they got the job done, they got it finished, and are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champs building a dynasty, and I wonder if anybody can stop the Kansas City Chiefs. Anyway, that's going to be all for today's video. Let me know what you thought of it. Number one in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn that bell on. We do our best to post it on this channel every single day. Got to keep it short and sweet, to the point. No Deadpool 3 trailer breakdown. We may have that in a separate video coming toward the channel. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like that Deadpool 3 trailer breakdown. Let me know if you watched all the way until the end because it is the final Super Bowl prediction or reaction video, NFL reaction. So... We are ramping up. We're starting baseball season. Basketball season's in full swing. There are sports to go over and talk about. Even the UFL. We got the UFL coming, obviously, as well. So we're still ramping up full throttle with sports. Obviously, basketball is about to go to the All-Star break. We got baseball here in a couple of weeks. I believe kid pitchers and catchers report to spring training this week. And then they start games next week or the week after next as well. So baseball season's on upon us. We'll go through, give our predictions for every baseball season. We'll give some reactions to the NFL season, how they did, obviously, every team's best player, da 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 da, da. We may do that a couple of times. And then, of course, the NBA is ramping up. We're going to go ahead and get an all-star break breakdown as well. Tomorrow, though, interview with Colvin Conferty. Don't want to miss that as we talk to the Miami commit as well. So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking around with me towards the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.